too. It's time to start cooking. All right. <laughs> we got some cauliflower tater tots to go with our black bean burgers. Brett, you missed that recipe, but don't worry. You will be trying it very soon. And I know you don't like cauliflower, but no. listen. No. He doesn't. No. The whole crew just got done convincing Brett that these cauliflower tater tots, even if you don't like cauliflower, are the thing. Like, they're so good. And so, eat even it, if you're thinking to yourself, it, you're prejudging this recipe because you am. don't like cauliflower. Like, Brett, you, you might want to give this one a try. Just see. All right, so we have one 10 ounce package of frozen rice cauliflower. I love that it's frozen. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you use it all the Easy. time. Because you just microwave it or steam it. Yep. And it's ready to go. You don't have to whip out your food processor. Already there. Yep. Okay, and then I have a third cup of cheese. Any kind of shredded cheese, I use mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And I'll have you add two tablespoons of almond flour, okay. some Parmesan, an yeah. egg, salt, and garlic. Easy. Easy. Okay, so Brett, <laughs> you have not yet told me when you first when you first met Emily. Uh -huh. What was your first thought? Where were you guys when you first met? We first met at a pre meeting for a church service that our now pastor was putting on, and she was late because of a storm. <laughs> That's what you remember. I'm getting to oh, the story. Dear. Well, I'll tell you. I know what Ember remembers, but you can go ahead when she met you. But that's when we first met, technically. That is true. That is, but uh, from what I remember from the actual night of the service was uh, we just you made each other me. laugh. You stalked me. That too. Yeah, you did. I did. You wouldn't leave me. I, how could I? Look hey. at you. Oh, but I do remember, I'll tell you what I remember you saying about Brad. What did I say? There's this guy the whole night, he made me crack up. He I mean, I was laugh. laughing so hard. And then she started talking about your shoes and, and something about your outfit or something. She's like, I, I look just good. can't. And the shoes, I think he had like... Sorry. You, know, <laughs> and, <laughs> you didn't know this. I was spilling the beans here. But Eight years listen, later, listen. the truth comes out. I've helped the shoes. I re I re The shoes were that bad? <laughs> they were. Stop with the shoes. I rewound the conversation and I said, listen, Brad. Or I said, listen, Em. I said, you said something about how this guy made you laugh all night. Mm -hmm. Now forget the shoes for a minute, because those, you know, we can toss the shoes. We can get rid of those. I said, but who's this guy that made you laugh? <laughs> she said so, she got me focusing on the right and thing. She made me laugh too. You could just thank me for the fact that you're married, mm -hmm. because yeah. if it weren't for me, I mean, she might have just judged the shoes and, and moved on. True. Moved on. Yeah. All right, on so all I'll have, a close one. <laughs> who wants to do scooping? You, you want to scoop? Do, I'll scoop. You right. can do some scooping here. So this is a mini muffin tin. Those are cute. And just a mini ice cream scoop. I get the mini ice cream scoops in a pack of three, so you have every size. So you want that, you want the little one for this, it's easy. It's a good idea. And then, um, Em, you can kind of like just press sure. them down lightly. And what that does is it packs them in. And the cheese, the almond flour, the Parmesan in there, and the egg kind of binds together with the cauliflower and they get really crispy on the outside and I dip them in either ketchup or pizza sauce. Yeah. So they're just like french fries, just like a tater tot. Um, but you know, cauliflower is magical because you know, you can replace potatoes with cauliflower, you can replace ice cream with cauliflower these days. So you can do anything with cauliflower. So, so what, why don't you like it? It's like the unicorn food. Why don't you like it? And it smells horrible when being okay. cooked. Well, I'll tell you, with the cheese, it masks the smell even, okay? So. Yeah. You're not selling this recipe very well, Brett. <laughs> Let me tell you, you'll like these, and when you dip them in ketchup with your burger, it's going to be the great side dish. So your meatless burger. So I'm masking everything with ketchup. <laughs> so I'm gonna so I'm gonna pop these into the oven 425 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes till they're golden brown and then we'll serve these up with all of our wonderful meatless meals.